Hey guys, reviewing more new music today. Um, hit the old like and subscribe. Um, I've been using this vidIQ add-on for YouTube, which weirdly tells you to say things and it picks up on evidently the actual words of what you're saying in the video. So if I say like and subscribe, like and subscribe enough, it'll pick it up, uh, which is a bit strange. But anyway, you've got you to be there. So anyway, we've got what we got. Uh, Darren Holmes from the Artist Support Network on Facebook. Check it out. Um, Dream Big is the track. Uh, I think I've been in touch with Darren a few times uh, here and there for one thing or another. So let's see what Darren's got for us. I've got the old trusty guitar here because I'm going to have uh, have a go at the chord structure again. See what we can do. Here we go. Don't keep your dreams inside. Let them out. Okay, so from the off, um, let's just work, let's just do the chords first. So, so we got the A, E, D suspended or something. It's probably A suspended as well. So let's just grab our little, um, our little chord thing. Let's see what we're doing. So our first chord is A, so our one chord is A, which is here. Our fourth, e, uh, our fifth, e, sorry, the second chord is E, which is a five chord. And the third chord is D, which is the four chord. So we're doing one, E is a five, D is a four. Now, immediately another song springs to mind to say straight away for me, but I'm not going to say it because... I, I don't need to skew anybody's uh, any listening pleasure. Let's just go back and listen to the, near the beginning again. Yeah, it's um. Let me just put the guitar down. It's a little. It's a little bit all for me stuck in the same frequency range. So it's a little sort of too stuck together. There's no, there's not so much clarity between the instruments. I mean, there's a piano in there, there's a guitar. Yeah, I think the piano could have been maybe a little brighter. Um, the acoustic guitar is there. I can hear that. Uh, that continuous piano note, I guess it is, that's going. Uh, the kick drum. Don't keep your dreams inside Let them out Let them fly Let them fly Yeah, there's uh, some strings going on underneath and uh, a vocal. Obviously, the, the vocal's got a little bit of something like a slapback style echo delay. Might be pre-delay on the reverb, something like that. Sounds okay. Yeah, I like I like the change. Um let's just go back. Yeah, I'd have took that kick drum out of there, that middle kick that the one filling the gap, I'd have stopped I'd have almost brought that to a dead stop just there. Um and used some emphasis to bring the chorus back in. You know, with um we've talked about this before quite a lot. It's the same old thing, it's it's nuts and bolts that everybody uses, it's it's reverse 
snap cymbals, reverse gu guitar chords, um, risers, uh, whoosh sound, you know, uh, emphasis sound, stuff that drag you into the chorus and then emphasize that with a with a crash cymbal or something when it kicks in, let's just say. Yeah, the, the, the chorus just, it just hasn't, it's not getting the impact it deserves, you know, so you've got nice chord changes in the chorus. And I think the, the piano sound is okay, uh, but a little bit, not, not quite bright enough. Um, I think more instruments could have been brought in. I would have doubled up stuff. Uh, to give it a big stereo field sound on on both sides uh, for that chorus, and I would have gone for the vocal as well. Let's just check it out. Dream big, dream strong, dream fast, and dream along. Dream high in this space, live life, and don't you wait when the tears. A streaming hand Yeah. Yes, it's a nice sounding chorus. You know, it's got some typical but but standard chord changes, but you know, it works. But a nice big vocal doubled up both sides, harmonies, you know, you you I don't know, half a dozen vocal in there, eight takes, something like that. Build those layers up, get it nice and big, double the guitar up, the acoustic guitars, both sides, and, and hit us with it, you know. You don't get many opportunities to, to get the chorus out there. In this space, live life, don't you wait, when the tears are streaming. And Let's just see. And if we could have so, so you could capo on the on the third by the same chords now but this time using the G shape C shape and back to the you know use the chords move it up to the fifth Oh, sorry, six even. Play it on the E. That's a nice one because you've got the, the E. So, you've, so we cap out on the um, sixth fret. Now we're playing an, o, an E shape and a B suspended and an A suspended. Lots of options there for chord changes, capos, you name it. Big chance to build it. Okay, so um, just looking at the wave here, you can see this waveform here. Now, I would have looked at that. You sort of lose a bit of the, the impact at this point. So this is where, for me, uh, some volume automation or something would have come in. Um, I would have made sure that this wave here was, you know, closer to the level of these others to, to maintain the, uh, just maintain your, the, 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 the sound all the way through, it kind of drops off quite a lot. It's all pretty much down the centre as well. 
the, the acoustic guitars would sound much better panned left and right. Again, um, you know, I know I've said it before, but this is a build opportunity. You can see it coming just in the in the shape of the waveform itself. Uh, put some stuff in there, you know, nice little uh, crescendo, snare drum, something, some heavier chords. I'm sure if there's a snare drum in here anywhere actually if there is I can't hear it yeah now <laughs> we're at the end but I can hear some little guitar bit going on my left left hands here which is good that's what I want to hear that's what we want we need some some left and right something to keep our interest make it nice ear candy but it needs to be in the in the first chorus and the second chorus Okay, so um, overall, it's a nice song actually. It's um, it's a little, you know, a little chord repetitive again. It's base, it's standard chord structures, but with that and the right melodies, it can work fine. And there's some nice sounds in there. I, I would think the whole thing's a little sort of stuck in a frequency range for me. It doesn't, nothing stands out too well. I think with a little bit of work, you know, you could really improve this in my view. If somebody said this is what I've got and I want to make it better, as limited as my knowledge is, but I would have um, I would have done something with the guitar sounds, done something with those crescendos, the ins and outs of choruses, and just just built it a bit more. You know, get that snare drum in there towards the back end. The vocal uh, was a little wavy on the volume levels here and there. I lost it in some of the some parts. So some volume automation on on the vocal, and I'm only talking about tiny dB. You know rises and, and falls here and there if you look into volume automation and get that get that vocal line just sitting on the top of the waveform all the time you will have a much more consistent mix um the vocal style was fine i found the the, the words sometimes they didn't always land on the on the beat it was a little not sure it was a bit rushed or here and there maybe a few more takes to just get that right but hey darren again i think we've communicated i'm not sure i can't remember there's so many people coming on but Good job and uh, keep up the work. And uh, you know, if you want any, if you're working on stuff like this and you want to, uh, you want to throw some ideas across.